Welcome back to the Let's Play. I'm glad you made it back. This is Dallas here, and today we are starting a new build. I am calling it Moss City. It's not going to be necessarily city size. Maybe Moss Town, Moss Village. Maybe just Moss House. <laughs> But I saw a picture of a real house recently, and it was deep in the woods and moss was growing all over it. And I'm like, I wanna build something like that. So that's what I'm gonna do here. But mine's gonna be more of like a hobbit hole. And I thought there couldn't have been a better place in my world other than this area where we overtook the lands with moss. As you can see, I kind of got the outline here. I'm gonna go ahead and make our first little house and see where we can go from there. That's a skinny horse. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. I. I think I want the roof to look something like that, like it sticks out at the top. Do something like that. Actually, I think I want some sandstone for this build. Go down the hole! God! <laughs> Please don't tell me you have to smelt it to get smooth down. Oh yeah, you do. I remember my man, or what is it? Yeah, the museum. God, that was a nightmare. I used so much coal for that dang museum. Well. Now I wait. I like how I still have the old signs up here for when we were actually building our old gear. These are from a while ago. What's that? Repair supplies? Oh, what did I need leather to rip? Was I repairing leather stuff? Wow. You kind of forget about some stuff sometimes. I, I have a mending book in here. Okay, I guess I'm going to do a little shape like that. Some of an oval shape. And then we're going to go in the back side and try some of this. Okay, I added a little chimney to it, kind of like one of them winding ones, and a little bit of a front yard with a crumbling, well it's not even crumbling, just a mossy wall. Still feel like it's missing something though. I think I should add some color into it, maybe put some plants, maybe a little garden right here. I don't know what color it's missing though. Maybe some red. Okay, we got some beets, maybe this guy really loves beets. I don't know who on earth likes beets. I remember the first time I tried a beet, I, I literally thought I was just eating dirt. That's how bad it was. I think it was a beet from a can. I just, yeah, I just took one bite from it. It literally tasted just like dirt. Ever since then, I have not put a beet in my mouth. Here is another one I'm making. I like the look of this one. I don't know if this one, this one's not gonna have a moss roof or perhaps it could. Nah, this one looks fine like this. I could change up the colors or I might try sandstone again. I don't know why I've never done this. I love making hobbit holes in Minecraft, and I've never really made them in this world. Oh yeah, that might look pretty good. I guess I can make these have some glow berries on them, make it look like this place glows at night. Perhaps I could do it on these houses too. All right, there's our two. I guess I'm calling these hobbit holes. I didn't really want this one to be a hobbit hole, but compared next to this one, it just I guess I'm just building hobbit town. <laughs> I love how these turned out. I need to start thinking of a pathway through here as well. I'm probably gonna make a third one too, perhaps on this side, a, like a very small one. All right, still working on the place here. Got a third place and, did I show you that one? Yeah. <laughs> I decided to put this one kind of in between and on top. I think the stacked look actually looks really cool. And I love how these chimneys turned out. They look very, Fantasy-ish, it fits the air. I took down that tree, now it looks empty there. I need to plant some azalea trees up here. Yeah, I think this is all I'm gonna build for now. Eventually, I could just keep lining. Actually, I don't even think I'll do it right here. If you didn't notice, we do have a hill right here and this is where most of this, oh yeah. Most of this moss and lush takes up. Maybe I could just eventually turn this whole hill into this little hobbit hole heaven. There we go, got a couple trees up there. You know what I wanna put on this? I am going to, I, do I have any? I do. I saw this in a picture somewhere. I wanna put a port, can I reach that? Am I too small? I'm almost like 6'5 in real life and I can't even reach this. Oh, actually I don't know why I said almost. I was actually 6'4 for most of my life, grow well, not most of my life, 6'4 <laughs> coming out of the womb. I was at the doctor recently and he measured me a 6'5". So that means somehow in the past couple years, I grew an inch. 
Nothing is letting me reach this. Let me touch this dang chain. Oh my god. Seriously? How far is this? There. That's all I wanted. There. We found obsidian. That's what it's holding up. <laughs> it's going to hold a portal and you make... Okay. I can't reach it again. Do I not have any... I don't. I don't have any glow lichen. I... That's the one material I have neglected to collect when I was down in the new caves. It's going to be a little off because portals are an even number. Eh, that looks kind of stupid. Maybe I can expand that by one. A bloody spruce. A chine. Make that two chines. You know what I haven't seen in a while in this world? Pillagers. I don't know where they've went, but you don't see them running around as much anymore, especially in this world. Okay, so on the bottom, I'm just gonna do a couple of these, cause why not? Now we just droop some vines off of it. And there we go, we got a portal we found in the bottom of the river. So I ended up moving all of these over here. The fastest way to get them to oxidize is actually five blocks apart, which I think is a weird thing to add to the game. I mean, that just makes things very difficult. <laughs> I think they should just be placed one to two blocks apart if you really want them to oxidize because that's far enough realistically. And then if there's a block next to it, that's what slows it down. I think that's all it should be, but the fastest way to get them to oxidize is to place them like this. I've already gathered 21 of the fully oxidized ones. These are the ones that are still waiting around. And another thing I don't like is how random it is. These have been out here. I've went AFK here a couple times for a very long time. Like I'm talking very long time. And there's still some that I haven't even begun the first process. And there's some that got fully oxidized within 10 minutes. What is that, Minecraft? Why? Uh-oh. Might have gone AFK for too long. I mean, I was reading a really good book. Oliver Twist. That green one right there. It's pretty good. Yeah, quite a few of you out here, I see. Question is, please tell me I... Oh, I got one left. I haven't been down here in a while. I haven't done this in a while because... Can you hear me? Hey guys, can you hear me? <laughs> because this was messed up for a little bit and I thought it was broken. Ugh. Well. Give me the XP. What is this? Put it in my body. Okay, we reached 30, but there's still some floating around. It's like all invisible. Look, there's gonna be some right here. Told ya. <laughs> I wouldn't mind trying to reach level 100 again. We did that a while back. It was a challenge of mine and we actually did it. I just went down there a lot and it took a lot of times to get to level 100, but we went on a giant enchanting spree afterwards and it was really fun. I might try it again. I don't know how many of you will remember this, but I used to have a series way back in the day called Minecraft Pocket Edition UGC, which stood for Underground Castle. It was a small series I played on while I was playing in the early days of this world. Whoops. And I really liked how it was turning out, but the main premise behind it was I wanted to build a castle underground, but not have an exterior of a castle. So we wouldn't worry about having castle gates or towers on the sides, but we would just build the interior underground. And I absolutely love this concept because it didn't stress you with trying to come up with a castle design on the outside, you just built the inside. And I really want to do that again, and I don't think there's a better location to do it than where my end portal is. But our current end portal is off in that direction, and I have a little bit of Slime Science Center stuff set up around it. I could get rid of it, or we can go on a small adventure, it's probably going to be a big adventure, and go find this new one, I have 17, way off over there. Have we f been to it? I can't remember. I don't think we have. But I backed up my world. I'm saying screw it. Let's go see what it looks like. Ah! <laughs> that actually scared me. Don't put creeper heads around your world. Okay. First time we're using this. How many do we got? Wow. That's quite a bit. Our cute little hobbit holes. Okay, that's random. So we're still in old terrain here. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, yeah. So it's starting to go over this way now. I'm just gonna keep going until I find it. What? No way. Guys, we have a jungle 1,000, basically 1,000 blocks from our house. 
Again, I have to reiterate, this world is generated in 2014. 2014. I've been over here plenty of times. This is why I believe it deletes chunks randomly. 1,000 blocks. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, look at this straight. Oh, well, I now know where to go when I want more gravel. See, this is what I mean. We will never find a new... Well, we will, but they're really rare to find new temples. It just dawned on me. With that jungle being that close, we can finally get pandas at our house. I didn't even think of that. And some new ocelots that aren't bugged. Well, my ocelot... Oh, wait, you can't tame ocelots anymore. <gasps> wow, I didn't think of that. I have really OG pets in my world. You sound... Wow, that's a new effect. Check this out. So with the world being this old, you tend to come across some weird things. Speaking of, look at this. I don't know why it's doing this, but it looks interesting. That's for sure. There's a lot of ice. Whoa. Well, this is old ocean, isn't it? <gasps> no way, snow foxes. I have never seen these. There's a baby one. Oh, look at that. You want a torch? <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. Why am I killing it? Why am I killing it? <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, we might be better off building at our current stronghold. Wow, look at that. It's so simple yet so pleasing. Having a little archipelago of islands. You could definitely make some sort of cool base here. Those are those islands. It's just all so flat and nice. I love this so much. And look. <laughs> That's tiny. Wait, am I on the new update? Or beta? Didn't they add alays or alays? Or, uh, 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 I'm, I'm on peaceful, dang it, aren't I? Hey, I've been here. Yeah, I don't mean to be unpeaceful. Sometimes when I'm working around the lab, I can't risk losing all of those villagers that are the donors. Let me guess. Of course I've been here. 9,000 blocks out. Whoa, 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 we passed it. Okay. Oh, give me that back. Oh, well, we know where it's at. Down here somewhere. Yeah, so this one is 7,000 blocks out. I think my other one is just 3,000. So we'll probably just build it that one. Just figures. <laughs> make a staircase coming down this way and I'm turned that way. All I had to do is keep going straight. And we're here. Huh. Oh, a chest right off the bat. Whoa. Wow, well, it's pretty good. I like that. I also always forget, this is a good place to gather a lot of maul. There it is. Mossy. Ha, stone. <laughs> Instead of, oh, another chest. Instead of wasting, you know, a bunch of vines on it. Oh, yes. I wish I had a silk touch axe, but I don't. It's going to take a while. Oh, wait. I have all that dark oak wood at home. I'm just combine it with that. Oh, it's more upset. Oh, there's even a chest up there. We got a chest here. Oh, with a silk touch book. Whatever this castle, underground castle, I'm going to call it, is. Oh, another one. Nice. I want it to be like a very magical place. Like a place almost where we're studying magical stuff because there is an end portal after all. And I think we can make it look very interesting. I almost want it to look like a giant library. And in the center is the portal. We might start this next episode. I know we'd be starting random projects left and right, but that's a fun thing about Minecraft. You can do whatever the heck you want to do. I just came, I just went down the stairs here right next to that one. There's another one. Jeez. What's in this chest? Oh. I'll be glad that I gathered all these books. What's this? Huh. This is a first. Anything cool? Ah. Uh, Okay, there's got to be a mine shaft nearby. No way. I say no ways because I think there's a spawner stacked on top of this one. A spawner stacked on top of another spawner in a stronghold. Hey guys, what do you got for me? So as you can tell, I generated this a while ago. I guess when I threw the pearl and it's intersecting with new terrain here. Whoa. Holy smokes. So yeah, as you can tell. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? 
Just seeing what we got here. We got quite a few things. I get inspired so strangely sometimes. I, I All I'm thinking about right now is I want to build a giant library. A library is so cool that's very tall. And it's gonna be a decent sized room and just in the middle is just gonna be the portal. And I feel like we need to do this because we don't have an in, well, we kind of have an in base, our space station, but we don't have a base around our portal. It's just under a village. We Yeah, let's do this next episode. I think this will be a fun little transition. We have a lot to work on in this world. We are nowhere near done, fellas and gals. I don't think I'm gonna make it home uh, to do donations. Uh, I'll do those next episode. But today's comment question is from Real Apple Boy. How'd you get inspiration from the new biome? For the new biome, the wasteland, it was mainly inspired by touring that Hermitcraft world and seeing what was a cub fan. That insane biome he made, his is way better than mine, but I'm going for a wasteland type biome. His is like very mystical and enchanted almost. He has all them amethysts around his, but mine was also slightly inspired by, I guess, Fallout? When in Fallout 4 specifically, exploring the world, you come across so many dead trees. I don't even know if they're dead. They just have no leaves on them. And I, I really wanted to try that look. That biome is nowhere near done, by the way. We have a lot of work to do on it. It's not one of them just five episode biomes that will be complete in no time. Oh, I love collecting these. So yeah, that's gonna be a work in progress. That's for sure. Is that a blacksmith? Come on. Where's all the blacksmiths at? These things never come with blacksmiths anymore. They're so rare. Uh, okay, don't do that. I was gonna risk trying to emote in the air. I don't wanna die out here. We will just land in third person. See you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.